What is up, guys? It's your boy Chicken Two back out with another video on the channel. And today's video, guys, it is game day for the Philadelphia Eagles. If you guys, you guys should know, I am an Eagles fan, massive Eagles fan. I've been an Eagles fan for my whole life. And today we are playing the San Francisco 49ers in the link to see who goes to the Super Bowl. <clears throat> now, uh. I'm going to show you guys who I think is going to personally win. Um, I mean, I think the Eagles are going to personally win. Because, here, here's why. Here's exactly why. Brock Purdy has not played the best defensive backs in the league. Like, I mean, sure, the Cowboys have a pretty good defensive line, but they don't have a great, uh, you know, defensive back, safeties, all that stuff. We have C.J. Gardner-Johnson. We have Darius Slay. We have James Bradbury. Those are all... Uh, I don't know. I would say top 30 guys in the league. There's all three of them combined. So, Purdy's going to be under pressure, especially because of our defensive line. They will get there fast. And sure, they have a good run attack. But if you look at the Eagles versus Giants, I want to see the box score. Um, Daniel Jones, he did bad. Now, Saquon Barkley. Sure, he averaged 6.8 yards a carry. Here's the thing, though. One of those carries was a big one for thir for uh, f about 40 yards. Take that carry away, that's 8 carries for about 21 yards. And that is not an average of 6.8. He had one good rush that led to that touchdown in the third quarter, and they did nothing after that. So that rush did not even matter at all during the course of the game. Daniel Jones, uh, 6 for 24, average 4, that's not very good. Matt Breida, I I'm get it, they're in the end zone. And then Gary Brightwell, I don't know who that is. Anyways, their receivers did nothing. They really didn't do anything throughout the entire game. The only thing people are talking about is how Saquon Barkley had a good game. He did not. He had one good rush, and that's it. All the other rushes were actually... Philadelphia actually did very good against the rush. And seeing as Philadelphia got out to a 28-point lead in the first in the first half, the Giants couldn't really run the ball that much. As you see, they only ran it a couple times in the third quarter. And then, but when you're losing by that much, you can't really run the ball unless you're going to get a touchdown on every single play. Anyways, we'll take a look at the Niners because they played awful, and I know they won the game, but. <clears throat> They did not play good. Dak threw two brain-dead interceptions right to the defender, and they still almost won the game. I definitely think the Cowboys were the better team coming into the game, but as you know, the Cowboys can't win in the playoffs. <clears throat> Zeke did not do good. Pollard did not do very good either. Prescott, though, he did pretty decent on the ground. Um, That's why I think Jalen Hurts can do decent. CeeDee Lamb was running for some reason. I don't know why that was. C.D. Lamb, though. Niners defensive backs, not very good. 10 for 117, and the Niners didn't double him? Okay. 5 for 27, Dalton Schultz, and a touchdown. We have Dallas Goddard, much better than Dalton Schultz. Noah Brown, 2 for 21. T.Y. Hilton, 1 for 15. Tony Pollard, 2 for 11. Turpin, I don't know, 1 for 8. I know that was the last play, I'm pretty sure, though. Zeke, 2 for 7, not very good. And then... Yeah, the... the the defensive backs did not do very good. Sure, they didn't allow very many touchdowns, but they didn't really need to. Anyways, going back to the Eagles, we have, we don't have the great uh, we don't have a great r rushing defense, but I don't think it's really going to matter too much if we get off to an early lead. That's why we want the Eagles to get the ball first, score a touchdown. If they can hold San Francisco, if they can hold them. Not let him get a touchdown or a field goal. Get, then get either a field goal or a touchdown on the next drive. I think we win the game. Because they can't run the ball. We have better defensive backs. Purdy's going to crumble under pressure. And I think the Eagles are going to win the game. If and only if we get off to an early lead. Now, um, I think I can... Here, I'm going to figure out how to do this. Um, yeah. Crum... Canvas. There we go. I'm going to show you what I think is going to happen. So, 
No image. Okay, so I think... Birds? Here, I'll put the box score right here, and then... Niners. Okay. So I think in the first quarter... I think in the first quarter... I think the Eagles receive the ball. And I think we get... It's going to be a very defensive battle. I think we get a touchdown. I think the Niners get a field goal. That's the first quarter. Second quarter. I think the Niners will also score a touchdown. I think the Eagles will score a field goal. 10-10. At halftime. Then, I think the Birds get two touchdowns. I think they get 24. I think the Niners only respond with two field goals. 16. 16-24. Still a one-score possession game. But I think the Eagles will end up winning the game. 27-23 to 23 game. Now, I don't actually think it's going to be this high scoring, but I think it's going to go similar to this. Eagles will have the lead pretty much the entire game. Halftime, they split leads, like the tie game. Then the Eagles come out swinging, two touchdowns. They figure out the Niners' defense. Niners can't really respond to that. And then the Eagles just score a field goal, which is pretty much all they need. And Jake Kelly is pretty good. He hasn't missed yet. And they can only respond with a touchdown. That's what I think is going to happen. Actually, no. Here, i got to change that score. 22. Um, and I think it's going to be 22 because I think they're going to go for two to tie it up for 24. They're going to miss it. And then 27, 27. That's what I think the game is going to be, personally. So final score of 27 for the Birds, 22 for the Niners. Of course, this is just a prediction, but I, I really hope the Bears are going to win this one. And uh, leave your score predictions out in the comments. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Go Birds, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.